Hello guys and welcome back to Retron Channel on YouTube. So in today's video, we are going to take a quick look on this MacBook Air 2015. So this is a MacBook Air 2nd inch 2015 and we are about to do the factory reset to the computer, to the MacBook because I'm going to sell off this MacBook anyway. So we have some little, very little data, but we don't want to uh, sell, I mean, we don't want to sell the MacBook to anyone with even a little data inside so we want to make it brand new we want to make it reset to factory setting and etc yeah so today we will focus on how do we actually do that okay so let's not wait any longer just go through to how we're going to do that okay guys so now i have just uh restarted rebooted the machine so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to keep press and hold the command key and the r key just to get in to the system recovery mode so before we doing all of this i would like to guide you that you need to go ahead and sign out your iCloud first of all to sign out your iCloud everything that makes sure it's not going to stuck on any Apple logo or something or Apple uh, recovery or I, I don't know what they call it uh, lost and found or something but we don't want to stuck in any of that so we go ahead and delete uh, any unnecessary file that we think we want to delete or don't want to transfer to any new user and yeah so the most important is to sign out the iCloud so once you finish all of that you restart the computer you press and hold the command R key like this and it will land you on this page so now we are in mac os recovery mode so you will stop the computer at a page where you require to type in your uh, password to get access to the uh, recovery mode so right here i have my uh, logo right here the user so i'm gonna click so this one cannot be a soft touch it's not gonna work we're gonna press it all so i'm gonna keep on pressing okay and then we press on next now we have to type the key in the password so this password is not any particular password it is the normal user password that you use to type in to get into your computer so i'm gonna uh, type in the password and then click on enter okay so now we land in this page and i will tell you what should you do next okay so now the first thing of all once we land into this page all you need to go to is to click on the disk utility right here you click on continue and then you will see all of this if you don't see this make sure you click on this view and then select show all device okay so now when i already select on show all device make sure you're not going to touch any this image right here all you need to do is to click on this apple ssd right here yes and then you're going to erase and then click on erase right there until it complete the creating the partition map Okay, so now we are done so click on done so now you have your own container this right here which is which is free and you still have your uh, mac utility so i'm gonna close up this and then go ahead and click on reinstall mac os monitoring so just to clarify as well that this macbook air 2015 is currently before i do any reset it is already at the latest of the mac os 10 monitoring so now once i select reinstall mac os monitoring click on continue and i click on continue again it will start to loading the installation information so once it finished load, loading up it will pop something on the screen so we we'll keep on waiting okay so now we are on the page where they're asking for an agreement on the term of license so yeah we click on agree agree again click on the this image you can see that we have a 121.12 gigabyte total so we are having 121 gigabyte available so from this availability of the hard disk i'm going to press on continue continue again and yes it will uh, install on the disk so we will have the macOS installed so you can see that there, there is time there's a time countdown here it's about two hour and 19 minute remaining so yeah, once it's done, we will get back to see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video from here and we'll see when it finally finish installing. Okay, 